Okay, if you're watching this video, you probably already have a good idea of what you're looking for, so I'm just going to jump right into it. After you've purchased private internet access, or whatever you prefer to use, I'm going to be using pr private internet access for this example because it's what I have and it's what I use. You just need to set it up with OpenVPN. I can't show you how to do it on any other VPN software because I don't have it, but this is how you do it for private internet access. All you got to do, you bring over your OpenVPN downloads, I'll put a link in the description, and you find the installation guide for your OS. So I'm on Windows 10, so I'm on 64-bit, so I just download it here. I've already downloaded it 20 times, so I'm not going to download it. It's right here. So you open it, and you just skip right through the installation. It's super easy. There's no malware. It's, it's safe. Once you've done that, it'll ask you if you want to show a README or start the OpenVPN GUI. And uncheck Show README and just check OpenVPN GUI. Then hit Finish. And once you've done that, you won't really see any, like, you know, actual GUI pop up. But you'll have, a you'll have like, a new icon on your desktop. You double-click it, you open it, it'll say OpenVPN GUI is already running. Or if it hasn't said that, then, well, that's why we're doing this stuff. Anyways. So once you've done that, you go down into your notifications bar. User right here. disconnected from your channel. Sorry about that. Um, now here you can you can connect to the different uh, VPNs. It, this will not be in your list until you install the PIA paid VPNs. Again, this is something that only well I'm showing this to you, uh, assuming that you've already bought PIA. Now the way to get PIA's paid VPNs. You can get them right here. So, uh, I've already ran you through how to do all this. So all you got to do, you download it. I'll give you a link in the description. You download it, blah, 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 easy, open it, and you'll get all of these VPNs. So now, uh, whoa, what did I just do? Okay, sorry about that. Anyways, so now we have all these VPNs. Now what we want to do, we go back down here, and it'll give you a path file right here. C config. And all you do, paste it down in the search menu. And I already have them all pasted in here. But all you got to do, take all of them, hit control C, and then you control V right in there. Easy. Then once you've done that, you can open back down here, and you'll see that you have all the ones that I have. And now I'm just going to cut here while I show you what to do next. The video, I realized I didn't cover this. The way that you want to connect to your VPN, you just disconnect or... I'm already connected, so you connect, and then if you're using PIA, it'll ask you for you to put in your user authentication. If you go to your PayPal email that you signed up with on PayPal, there's going to be an, uh, you'll have your password and username waiting for you right there from PIA. Just copy paste in username password right there, and then hit OK, and it'll play a little noise when it connects, and you'll see that your flag in TS or anything else is different. That's pretty much how you do it. Once you've entered your password and username, it'll it'll connect to you, and you can see right here I have a Canadian flag right now. That's who I really am. I am Canadian. Then it'll play a ding noise, and there we go. I'm now connected to a VPN in London, so I now have the British flag. Anyways, once we've done that, you can... Well, what normally happens with VPNs is they will fuck your connection up, basically, to any anything where you need relatively low relatively low ping to actually enjoy. So, like, right here, we have 304 ms. When, you know, to games, you want lower ms. So, how do we fix that? What you want to do is you just get off your VPN, so right here, disconnect, and we'll see I'm back to my Canadian flag. Then all we do, we open up command, run it as administrator. Now, what you type, you go route print. And that'll give you a list of all your routes. Then you take the host name of whatever server you're doing this for. For this example, I'm using User Badline. Entered your channel. Then you type ping naw.badline.net. And it'll give you their, I, their resolved IP. And then up here, you take that. You type route minus p add. That makes it permanent, so it'll exist through reboots. And then you type badlines IP first. So right here, or it doesn't have to be badline, so this number will change depending on what server you're doing this for. So 2.3.23, and then after we do that, we take the first gateway IP, which is right here, 70.71.72.1, and then after we do that, we just hit enter. 
Okay, anyways, after you've added in your route, you it'll say okay, whatever. Now, what that does is it gives you a specific route from your actual connection, so my Canadian connection, to Badline's server. So now, if I get back on my VPN... Excuse me here while I off. And we're connected. We're now to the rest of the world, seen as... Where am I here? English. So, you can see I'm getting 300 MS, 300 MS, 234 MS, whatever. Now, because I've only done this for Badline, nothing else, you'll see that to Badline, I will now get my normal MS, which is about 100, and to these, I'll still be getting my shitty MS. So if I refresh, you see I'm now getting, okay, that's a whole lot less than 100. Anyways, so you see now I'm getting my, my real connection is going through to Badline, and my VPN, or masked connection, is going through to all the other servers. So to TS, or to any other TS you join, you now have your VPN pretending you're, you know, masking your real identity or whatever, and to the servers that you need low latency to, you get low latency to. And that's pretty much how you do it.